the German Chamber of Parliament. Images familiar to TV viewers around the globe. American photographer Kermit Berg had exclusive access to the Bundestag, but he was less interested in the politicians than in the halls of power themselves. A conference room, a walkway, a committee room, a wall clock, a hallway, or this vote counting device. I want my images to be inspired by the trust in the process uh, that takes place here, but I'm more interested in telling that story by virtue of the architecture in, in which the governing takes place. Berg could only take pictures when Parliament wasn't in session, and even then the plenary chamber was off limits. Still, he had lots of freedom. I mean, the permissions were, you know, given openly. The, uh, as we said, this is a wall of voting cards uh, inside these cabinets, and they were opened for me. Uh, they showed me uh, one of the images that has been acquired through this project is of this in exact wall open. On the outside, the Reichstag is a neo-Renaissance building with a modern glass dome built by British star architect Norman Foster. Inside, the rooms are modern and airy. Since 1969, the Bundestag has been collecting artworks. The pictures and sculptures grace the walls of the Bundestag and the offices of its MPs. Andreas Kernbach acts as the curator. Of course, we're always looking for works which have some connection to parliament and to politics. What's special about Kermit Berg is that, in this case, the Art Advisory Board commissioned him to produce works that show this connection. And that was our hope here, too, that by employing a variety of perspectives of parliamentary goings-on, parliamentary architecture, the spirit of parliamentarianism, he'd make politics come alive. The Bundestag has already bought 10 of Berg's pictures. He was also fascinated by these loudspeakers. In an age where we're constantly bombarded with images, he focuses on objects people often overlook. If they spend any time with my pictures, they will come away with a, a very in-depth knowledge of part of that environment instead of a blur of that environment where they don't remember anything clearly, they haven't seen any details properly, they haven't seen any shadows, so they won't remember any shadows. All the things that make that room alive have been missed. During his visits, Berg explores as much as possible. He stumbled upon the Bundestag's reference library. In a place like Parliament, where the word reigns supreme, it exudes a special aura. Here he finds all the minutes of parliamentary debates from the days of the German Empire through the Weimar Republic to the present day. It's not cold by any means. Uh, it's a very inviting room, but it's completely aesthetic uh, in its presentation. And then I began reading exactly what is on the, on the books, what they are, and the history. I'm very interested in German history. I come from uh, a German background. Kermit Berg was particularly interested in the minutes of the East German Roundtable, talks held just after the fall of the Berlin Wall. They were dedicated to advancing the process of reform in East Germany. While searching for motifs, Berg discovered works by other artists, like the installation Archive of German Members of Parliament by Frenchman Christian Boltanski. Its 5,000 metal boxes are labeled with names of past MPs. Then there's the four rowing boats Christiana Mürbis has suspended from the ceiling of the new Jakob Kaiser building. Seen through the lens of his camera, Kermit Berg provides a new perspective on the German parliamentary building and on German politics.